So, Tim, you mentioned environment, heart, and competencies. Mm -hmm. Please tell us about the competencies. So, the competencies are a big piece of leadership success. And the great news about the competencies is it doesn't matter what your personality type is, doesn't matter what your style is, doesn't matter what your gender is, you can master the competencies. It's about learning and application and also a pretty good chunk of, in many cases, unlearning some old bad habits that go with them. Mm -hmm. Now, the competency model that we use is based on 10 competencies, and I don't want this to sound overwhelming. You don't have to master 10 competencies in a week and a half, and you know that's not how it works. It, it, in many cases, it's like a lifelong learning journey that you go through in picking these up. But there are 10 core competencies. They're kind of divided into little sub-segments, if you will. Uh, the first three are critically important. There's another couple of batches in the middle, and then the final two are kind of the icing on the cake. And each of those competencies is supported by a set of, you know, anywhere from, oh, maybe 8 to 15 skills that support each one of those competencies. And each of those skills, in turn, is supported by 8 to 12 to 20 tactics for implementation and use. So the competencies really is, if you think about it, 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 it it's our skill set. It's, it's, it's everything that we have to kind of master to pull the leadership role off. Now, I mentioned unlearning. Humans have an incredible capacity to learn. I mean, it, it, it's limitless. I mean, if you do the neuroscience and follow the neuroscience associated with it, our ability to learn is absolutely without limit, without boundary. Our ability to unlearn is a lot more challenging. And I think one of my biggest encouragements for all of you today is whatever it is that got you to right here, this place right now, you know what? Moving forward as a leader, that that got you here doesn't have much value. And, and I'm sorry, that, that sounds kind of harsh, but you know when you move up through the ranks of an organization, when you spend a lot of your time accumulating technical knowledge and you know, experience in a particular area, that does not, moving forward in leadership, does not have a ton of value. It's now time to kind of unlearn big chunks of that and focus your learning on those leadership competencies and skills that are so, so critical for our success. We built